it's an interesting story. Um, this recording was almost all of the recordings uh, were purchased at Mervyn Kahn and Rain, all the monarchs and sterlings. Um, at first, the Germans, uh, the recordings that came from New York were in the wrong key. We're going back in the 30s now, and the, and the fiddle players they came down in G's and they came down in F, B flat, and it just didn't work with the fiddle players. They refused to bend. So, but when they started sending C and D tuned accordions, that's when the marriage, when the fiddle players down here got with the accordion players, and that's, that was the evolution. That's when you started having the uh, syncopation that jumped in with the fiddle players and the, and the house parties. And, the, and then the dance hall era after World War II, uh, heavy, heavy accordion. But it wasn't until the C's and D's came down. This is tuned in the key of C. I have a Sterling D that I have in, in the family, but uh, this, is, this was the one Nathan got. He, it's interesting how he got this. It was a Lemaire family. Uh, right outside of Riseville, when Nathan got out the war, uh, he didn't have an accordion. And Will Kegley approached him and asked him to they wanted to start the Pine Grove Boys. Nathan had already called it the Pine Grove Boys. And Will wanted Nathan to play accordion with him. He said, well, I don't have an accordion. So the Lemaire family, the uh, gentleman died, and Nathan found out about it. So the Lemaire bought this accordion in Reverend Con. So he went to visit the family. And the uh, widow said, no, she says, it's in the attic. She said, I, I can't sell all the coins. She said, it's a uh, from my husband. So he left, and uh, a few weeks later, he was in Morris at the post office. It's an old community between Riseville and Montpelier. Uh, and the guy's son tapped him on the shoulder, and he said, Mr. Nathan, he says, my mom won't sell all the coins. He said, but if you want it, I'll sell it to you. <laughs> and that's how he got this accordion. The young boy went up in the attic, got the card, and then sold it to Nathan, and uh, the rest is history. Uh, Pine Grove Boys took off, and they, uh, not long after that, Nathan called, uh, recorded the Pine Grove Blues on this accordion, and many other beautiful songs. Inside this accordion, Nathan does a gold Spanish coin waxed in here, and he did that for luck. He was very superstitious, and he put that gold coin in there, and as, as I said earlier, the rest is history. You know, it uh, wasn't a coin, but it it helped him, and uh, he just took off with the Pine Grove Boys, and that was it. They were they were the ticket back then. They were the ticket.